The Katerina Hospital in Eindhoven, in the Netherlands, has a specialized ECV clinic. ECV is performed by two, instead of one, specially trained staff members and is conducted as a team procedure. Our ECV team consists of two hospital midwives and two obstetricians who perform all ECV attempts on fixed weekdays. In our protocol, teamwork takes a central position and we put emphasis on four elements, which we call the four R's, meaning regularity. ECV is provided on fixed weekdays, routine. ECV is provided by specially trained staff members. Release. These staff members are released from other clinical activities during scheduled ECV days. And relaxation. Uterine relaxation during ECV is achieved through an intravenously administered tocolytic drug. After implementing these four R's in our protocol, the success rate of external cephalic version in our clinic rose from 45 to 60%. ECV technique in theory. During ECV, the hands of one obstetrician concentrate on the fetal breech, while the others concentrate on the fetal head, with manipulation changing from a pull movement into a push movement. In order to prevent too much pressure on the fetus, this movement is consecutive rather than simultaneous. The progression of the attempt and the fetal heart rate are monitored by ongoing ultrasound by a biometric nurse. ECV technique in practice. The patient is placed with the bed tilted in 20 degrees head down position. A pillow is placed underneath the knees to relax the abdominal muscles. Especially in nulliparous patients, we prefer a filled rather than an empty bladder, which makes it easier to lift the fetal breech from the maternal pelvis. An intravenous injection with tocolytics is administered. Then, warm ultrasound gel is applied to the mother's abdomen. Then the obstetrician, focusing on the fetal head, tries to manipulate the head with a pull movement in the turning direction. We ask the mother to relax and take a deep breath in and out. When exhaling, the obstetrician, concentrating on the fetal breech, tries to lift the breech out of the pelvis. After succeeding, the obstetrician only focuses on having a firm hold on the baby's buttocks and stabilizing this new position. When repeating these attempts by both obstetricians, one after the other, the baby will turn. After the baby has turned approximately 45 degrees, grip on the fetal buttocks is lost in the pull movement and a change of hands position into a push movement is made. Simultaneously with the ECV, the fetal heart rate is registered by ultrasound. Every attempt is registered by our study nurse who meticulously registers all events for scientific analysis.